My name is Toby Sullivan, and I'm a commercial fisherman from Kodiak. Uh, Hazel Jones. Our family first came in 1941. My name is Robert Bowie, and I live in Kodiak, Alaska, and I've been a commercial fisherman for 46 years. My name is Angelique Grantham, and I'm a writer and a historian. I'm Patrick Saltonstall. I'm the curator of the Olympic Museum. In Kodiak, there has been tremendous development in fishing techniques and technologies in the past decades. Because of the evolution in the fishing industry, fishing became safer, better, and easier. Fishermen in Kodiak are scrappy, creative, and innovative, which has supported tremendous development in this fishing industry. I came here in 1974, and in those days there were no computers, and there was no cell phones, and GPS, which is a navigational system, didn't exist in those days. And the electronics were really basic. And One of the big breakthroughs in our fishing industry that people don't realize is that refrigeration was developed. Before, no one had refrigerators or freezers, and so in order to keep food, you salted it, you dried it, or you canned it. Uh, when I started, I pulled the net by hand. We had a power block, but we didn't have a purse to have it. We got rollers put on our skiffs. That was better than... <laughs> Outboards were only 25 horsepowers. You know, now they, they're they more powerful than my bow street. We didn't have fiberglass boats until they developed fiberglass, and so we had wood boats. But when we had statehood, um, then we had uh, fishermen go out and start developing other types of uh, fishing, which is with long nets or gill nets. Fishermen work really closely with biologists and then also with gear manufacturers to create fishing gear that targets the species that they want to catch. They used to have uh, stream watchers, you know, they take a, a young person and go up the stream and sit there and count the fish coming out. Originally when we went out we rowed. There are many things that change over time. One innovation was the creation of live tanks that held crabs that were caught in tanks with circulating seawater in them. Before fishermen just put them on deck, then they started spraying the crabs with seawater, which led to a live tank, which meant that fishermen were able to travel farther distances away from shore. Fishing has been a part of Kodiak forever, 7,500 years. That's when the Olympic people are first documented to have really come to Kodiak. In 3000 BC, uh, they fished with hooks and lines that they made out of wood and, and bone. Uh, some of the practices of uh, trapping salmon, uh, using uh, baskets or uh, rocks to direct salmon into a certain area and then pen them up. It's interesting that over the period of 5,000 years, uh, we use a lot of similar practices. We use hooks and we use weight. That, then they probably started salting fish and drying fish like hundreds of years ago, even thousands of years ago. Especially like the Alaska natives here, what they would do is they would dry their fish in the summer. In fact, they still do in lots of parts of Alaska. And then they could eat it all winter long. It's because of the resources from the sea that they were sustained. So it's, it's been a critical part of the lifestyle here. From the very beginning. Early on, mostly they used a lot of um, deep sea fishing for cod and halibut was more important. And then through time, salmon becomes more important. And then, early on, people, when they fished for salmon, used spears. Then later in time, they started to use nets, which would have, um, these are the, I think this is sort of the lead line, the bottom of a net. Um, and you started to see these gulus in sites too. And this is when they're starting to do a little bit more focus on salmon. They'd use the nets in shallow water to catch the fish. And then they'd smoke them and process, cut them up and process them. And then about a thousand years ago, there's another shift. When salmon becomes probably more important than cod. And you start to see a shift towards uh, weirs and using spears again. Catch tons and tons of fish. But... One of the biggest ones is the Exxon Valdez oil spill in 1989. That had a huge effect. And the first cannery in Kodiak was established in 1882, and most of the labor was Chinese. They were skilled tinsmiths, and they made all the tin cans by hand. The KRAA, the Kodiak Regional Aquaculture Association, 
I think it was established in the 1980s using, using set nets. It was a company that eventually became part of the APA that brought the first set nets to Kodiak on the west side in the 1890s. They finally started using persanes in the late 1940s. I know that the Miller Freeman collected a lot of fisheries data, which that was then used to create information about how much fish could be caught oh. locally. So it's always changing. It's really, there's very little stability when you look historically at what is being pursued. I also have faith that Kodiak fishermen and processors are really scrappy and good at, at finding new markets and finding new fisheries and weathering the storms because that's what we've done for the past um, decades.